Hi hey guys and so welcome to the circus. So here we have another card fight for you guys. So this is gonna be another proxy fight for our clan collection volume 1 and 2. So this time we're gonna be featuring um, Neo Nectar with Musketeers versus Giraffa on Mega Colony. So this is a pretty interesting matchup and both decks are looking pretty good as I heard uh, and as I see in this uh, fight because it is really really good especially new nectar they went back to their uh roots which is filtering the deck and then just uh spamming units on the board and then just eventually everything in your deck is mostly triggers and it's very very cool to see so our uh giraffe player is now going first riding onto that grade one that is also considered as a grade three and then passing on to the new nectar player calling down the grade one i mean riding the grade one soul blast and calling a plant token on the same column and then calling out the grade one which is a grade 3 searcher whiffing the search just swinging for an honest 13k to vanguard and is gonna be taking it gets a crit the first check is nothing the second check is nothing no defensives and is still swinging for 13k and he takes it and he goes to three very early that is that is quite unfortunate i would say but he will now ride on to his grade 2 giraffa which is a pretty cool unit and this unit this uh grade twos that we have on the board right now gets plus 2k or 3k for each rested unit i believe so it's pretty good now it's, you know, he's gonna swing for a big number and drawing on top of that no no damage there there's gonna be uh i can't see the damage but it will go down eventually <laughs> and then he's gonna be swinging for um this is gonna be plus 6k for each rested unit oh he took a defensive so this is gonna be plus 5 15 he can't hit the vanguard anymore uh regardless so he's gonna be swinging at his rear guard and then passing the turn because the other grade 2 cannot hit anymore riding on to grade 2 getting another plant token on place that old grade uh, 2 triple rare that's also an origin rare which is very nice is gonna be enabling to call a free token on the board so he's gonna be using that grade 2 musketeer uh, also in the clan collection which is do soul blast 1 retire rear guard check top 3 and call, a, call a card any card and then put the rest at the bottom of the deck so one filter down which is pretty nice Okay, so looking at the board state, three to one. This is quite unfortunate, but he does have um, two intercepts on the board, which is also a, a thing to take consider. He's gonna be calling down another grade two, the same copy as that grade two legion mate, and then he's not gonna be using that other skill because he doesn't have soul. He's gonna he's gonna be swinging for 10k. He's taking it, no damage there. Gets a heal, which is actually pretty good. Now he uh, those units cannot be. Be, uh attacked oh, no no it's he cannot be hit anymore because it's a 19k base he's swinging for 15 he's guarding for a 10k grade one unit and then he's passing on to us uh, uh kuya pj side so he's gonna be riding on to giraffe uh, getting a protect to which is a force marker but that's okay and then right here he's gonna be doing what uh, giraffe does so board state is going to be three to one still uh, our um stand stand peony our musketeer player is going to be looking pretty good so far he has a pretty decent hand size and now we're just going to be seeing a lot more filter all throughout this video so stay tuned <laughs> so he's going to be calling down that grade three that is also a multi-attacker enabler i believe so he's going to call he's going to call down that um I forgot the name of that but it's an on place rest and then give plus 10k to a unit so he's gonna be giving that plus 10k to that grade 3 that he that he just called okay so he's gonna be taking it back okay okay so let's see he's gonna be calling down that um grade 1 again give plus 10k to the other grade 2 using that skill of the grade 3 on place soul blast 1 and restand a unit okay he's gonna restand the grade 1 again which is gonna be getting plus 10k with his skill so that's pretty good okay so he's gonna be giving plus 10k to both units and each column is quite big now he's gonna be swinging for uh 15k is gonna be no no it's gonna be getting plus 5k for each uh uh what do you call it each a uh, giraffe in the soul so it's gonna be 17k is gonna be um it's gonna be pg what is happy oh he's gonna call down two units from hand right using giraffe skill so he's gonna be calling out two cards 
from his hand no cb no cb no on play skill available and then he's gonna, gonna he's just gonna be burning down two cards instantly so i was just checking there for some effects and yada 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 i was that was me <laughs> apologies for that um you know okay so looking at this what will he do with this onslaught so i i believe he doesn't have two and two uh giraffes in the soul yet and my, uh, his opponent is still on grade 2 meaning just this giraffe is still a one crit vanguard he's gonna be taking it first check a crit okay he's giving the crit to the vanguard obviously and giving plus 10k to that grade 2 that also powers up really really big gets a heal which is actually really big and then giving the 10k to the other column to balance it out taking two damage first check nothing second check nothing no defensives he's gonna be swinging for 32 i believe this is 32k no defensive so he's gonna be swinging for 20 35 that's enough okay he's gonna be guarding that and then successfully guarding it he's gonna be taking one more damage goes to four and gets a heal wow and he he thinks of what to heal out because it's actually really important he healed out a, uh, uh, another heal and then yeah let's just see what happens with his grade three turn okay so he's gonna ride onto the i forgot the name of that musketeer it's the it's the clan collection musketeer but the skill is pretty interesting so let's see here he's gonna get force two onto the vanguard which is really nice because he will get just power on the board so another crit will be appreciated he's gonna be calling down a grade two to uh, retire unit and then check top three and call one card or two cards from amongst them Cu uh, calling down two cards so he's gonna be calling a grade three and a grade zero trigger musketeer so yep uh we forgot that that grade one cannot be restood because of giraffe's skill and then it's gonna be counter charging one using that skill of that grade one because he called a superior call from the deck so a cc is really really appreciated now he's gonna be calling down what units so he did burn one crit but that's okay he's gonna be calling down that grade one so he's gonna be using his vanguard skills again he's gonna be thinking on what to retire because it's a cb1 retire two units check top five call two cards so yeah let's see okay he's gonna be putting back oh i forgot he needs to put back two units he put back two triggers checking top five cards of his deck calling out two more cards filtering out filtering out two cards from his deck calling out the grade three that gets a crit when placed from the deck so yeah that is all another pressure on the board oh he's gonna be hmm pretty interesting okay he's calling he's calling out a grade two Okay, he's gonna be proccing the grade two again to retire unit and then filter once again. But let's see. And he's, uh, I am assuming that he will retire the grade three in the front because that grade three that he called will get crit. So he's gonna be CB using that skill one place. So retire one, check top three again, calling out another musketeer or another unit from amongst them to the to the field and then rest at the bottom of the deck. Let's see. All right. Oh no, it's not the bottom of the deck. It's just shuffle your deck, I believe. And some of it is at the bottom of the deck, I believe. <laughs> He's, he filled out so much that he, uh, at least he calls out a trigger. But it's a musketeer, so it's still something valuable on the board. So he's gonna be, uh, he's finally swinging, I guess. Okay, he's calling out the another grade three searcher, filtering out one more grade three. Nothing there. Whiffs, which is a good sign for our giraffe player. And yeah, he's gonna be resetting the deck again, shuffling those cards from the bottom to anywhere on the deck. And then right here, he's gonna be swinging for massive numbers. He's gonna be using a PG discarding a crit. And since he is a, uh, he has. Oh no, he doesn't have have the grade two so he's gonna be he's not gonna be giving every single unit power and crit so he's just gonna get um three crits on the other unit and then he's gonna take this one which is gonna be having two crits and is gonna be taking that and then getting a defensive is gonna be a lethal one so he's, he needs to guard it this is gonna be a 37 so it's enough and then passing finally the turn to our giraffe player so let's see what will he do in this situation he's at four the opponent is at three he has a lot of rest of your guards at the very least because he will benefit from it he's debating here on what to do if he wants to ride up or not will he ride to a different unit okay let's see uh the uh, the musketeer players um uh what you call it hand size 
looks quite decent but given the situation that um, uh, the giraffe player has at the moment it's it's quite it's quite okay um, his hand size is also quite okay it's finally riding onto venom stinger getting another force i don't mean i mean protect one <laughs> that is really interesting and <laughs> it's gonna ride onto venom stinger two clan selection uh units right there he's gonna be using that skill of the um um venom stinger to cb1 put a great unit uh, put a unit to the soul and then soul blasting grade three um he's gonna be counter charging too taking two damage first check a draw giving the power to the vanguard second check a crit everything to the vanguard he's gonna be swinging for 32 crit two crits to the opponent's vanguard because every single trigger that he will check will be given to venom stinger for the rest of this um um battle step i think so it's gonna be no damage and this is gonna be taking one damage there are no there will be no <laughs> there will be no triggers there he's gonna be taking it and no draw no crit no defensives but it's still fine at least he denied a draw and then he's gonna be calling out that grade three after the battle the opponent your vanguard attacked and then right here we are gonna be using that skill to what are we gonna do with that grade two nothing i guess because he always gonna be swinging at the grade two instead and then passing the turn so he's gonna be going to our musketeer player again let's start the filter game once more he's gonna be riding up to another grade three fetching another force two giving it to what circle okay let's see our venom stingers player or giraffe player or mega colony player is now sitting with um a pretty decent hand size he has two protect markers at the very least so at something and um, Neo Nectar right now only has three attacks at maximum yeah so let's see what happens here he's good riding up getting onto force 2 giving it to the empty rear guard circle is gonna be calling down what unit and then let's just see how many cards he will filter he's gonna call in grade one using that skill of oh he's finally going uh, he's finally going to use that grade three skill of his to retire two rear guards and then fetching okay let's see he's gonna be retiring that okay he's gonna be putting back two cards from his deck okay he's gonna be putting back two cards don't I almost forgot that you almost forgot that he's gonna be putting a heal and a crit just to maximize triggers at this point checking top five calling out two cards from amongst them and then shuffling the rest of the uh to the deck i guess so he's gonna be calling two grade uh, two musketeers but those aren't grade ones sadly so no boost but still he has a lot of retire at this point he has a grade two a grade three and then he can counter charge oh that grade one is a booster so it's still fine so right now okay so what will he do here he's gonna be using that skill to retire that grade one and counter charge again using that skill of um what you call it he's gonna be using that skill of the grade two to retire a unit and then um filter out one card from amongst them calling it to a rear guard circle calling out the grade two finally meaning everything in his trigger zone will be applied to the entire front row so he's gonna be putting it to the bottom of the deck right here what will he do he's gonna be using, he's gonna be using that grade two again to retire soul blast check top three and call another card so what will he do <laughs> what what units will he do i mean it's just basically filter at this point he's gonna be calling yet again another grade two okay okay <laughs> okay then i am assuming that he will use that grade two again because it's a on play cb1 retire unit check top three and then call two <laughs> he's gonna, okay he's gonna retire that grade three understandable check top three then call two cards from amongst them to the uh, to the board so what will he call he's gonna call the grade one which is a 10 he's gonna be getting 10k because he is placed and then he's gonna be putting everything to the bottom of the deck and then right here he's gonna be giving plus 10k to that unit calling down the grade 3 searcher once again will he whiff okay he whiffs again he's gonna be resetting the deck just to reset the deck and then yeah let's see what happens with this final board state that he has which is pretty good he has a lot of crit pressure at the moment and if he checks just one crit 
everything should be guarded because he uh the the mega quality player player is sitting at four damage finally swinging with his vanguard for a massive number of course he's gonna be dropping a protect first check draw trigger applying to everybody second check nothing and third check nothing so no crit that grade two only has one crit so he's gonna be swinging for another um what do you want to call it um lethal number so this is gonna be 18 23 33 so this is gonna be 30 32 oh let's go 28 it's only 28 he doesn't control a uh plant token for that um grade 3 searcher skill so he's gonna be swinging at the rear guard to deny damage at least but yeah let's see also to deny heal possibly because he could possibly heal here and he's he's setting at five damage so it's a pretty okay move okay he's not gonna ride up Calling down another grade two uh, giraffe, two grade two giraffes, and then for each rested rear guard for a CB, he will get plus 5k. And if he has three or no, no, one or less standing unit, he will get to draw a card. So that's just a plus engine right there, and it's just a very powerful, very powerful rear guard to work with. He's now gonna be swinging with his um, okay, Venom Stinger. Will he use Venom Stinger? no no skill of venom stinger i guess this is just 12k and yeah okay so there's no skill right will he use this skill will he use this okay so he's gonna be oh yeah he's gonna be using that so cb1 put the grade 2 to the soul and then uh he's gonna be denying i mean he's not gonna be counter charging he's just gonna remove those two triggers face up and then he's gonna be taking two damage first check nothing oh no it's oh yeah it's nothing second check nothing no triggers so it's still fine because he's gonna be swinging for a massive number 32k because he will he did take two damage uh technically so venom stinger gets plus 10k for each trigger i mean for each damage so he's gonna be swinging for 32 and then what will he do in this situation so he can only use one of those grade 2 giraffes to plus he's gonna be committing a pg there discarding the crit first check let's see the damage i guess okay so i i was checking on the skills again and then right here he's gonna be swinging for how much he's gonna be oh hey he committed a pg first check crit everything to that unit just to have a crit second check nothing okay so he's gonna be i'm assuming he's gonna be swinging for the two crits first cb1 to get plus 25k drawing a card so this is gonna be 34 44k <laughs> this is uh, gonna be a very big number if he can guard it i think he can but he's gonna be 44 this is 33 28 i mean 30, 28 this is 28 this is 38 and then what more 38 he needs 48 yep okay that's enough okay so that is 48 so this is gonna be 9k not hitting anything sadly but still he can't um what you call it he can't intercept or um what you call it uh move his pieces because of those two giraffes on the board so let's see what happens here he's gonna be using his vanguard skill again to cb1 retire to rear guards call to uh i mean return to units he's gonna be returning two crits and then checking top five filter out two cards from amongst them and calling it to the rear guard circles so right here he's gonna be calling the grade two and the crit meaning that it's possible that he's filtered his deck so much at this point and yeah the the matchup between uh versus a protect deck actually kind of favored this deck a lot so yeah he had room to uh filter his deck to the point where everything is just triggers at this point i don't know if it's it is the situation right now but still the fact that he filtered so much <laughs> means that he has a lot of triggers right now in his deck especially that he keeps on returning it from the deck to uh from from the drop zone to the deck so he's gonna be calling two triggers meaning that most likely he already has a lot of triggers already on his uh in his deck and less normal units now finally since he has a grade 2 everything on the board will get trigger power okay so let's see 
what will he do here? He has one protect marker, the Jirafa player or the Venom Stinger player has one protect marker in his hand which is going to be really useful and let's see if he can survive this onslaught because it's going to be really big and he is 4 damage so everything is going to be quite lethal especially if he checks a crit and right here is going to be swinging for a big number is gonna be protect two that's a protect two okay that's a protect two discarding a grade two first check heal that goes off goes to three that's really actually really big flick okay so it's gonna be getting a draw trigger drawing a card third check a crit <laughs> So he's going to be getting 30k to the front row, every, everything gets a crit. So this is going to be a lethal flicking 10, um, 40k, 2 crits onto the opponent's side. And then the last one is going to be a massive 18, 30, 48, 4 crits, 3 crits. And yeah, he needs to survive here, otherwise he will actually lose. He needs a heal or just possibly guard everything. He has two intercepts at the very least, but I don't know if what he'll do. Oh, whoa, whoa, he's gonna take it. First check, nothing. Second check, a oh, heal trigger. <laughs> he's gonna be checking a heal six damage. That is, that is quite a Sir PJ move right there. <laughs> So he's gonna be has a PG. So he survived his onslaught, but he still has um uh a bit of a tough situation right here. Because the opponent's sitting at three, he's at five, no hand size, he's, he's gonna be calling on the grade two, I mean grade one giraffe, which is a free draw at the very least. And he has two CBs available, so what will, what will he do? He's going to be using that skill to plus 15, 25k, so it's going to be 34, 34k to the Vanguard. Let's see if he can possibly finish this um, uh, turn, I mean this game with this turn. No defensive, he's going to be using that, he didn't use the skill, wow. Okay, he's going to be reserving that last attack to that big giraffe so he's gonna be getting a heal which is quite good okay so giving power to that venoms i mean that giraffe uh, gonna be getting another crit so plus 20k to that unit plus another 25k so that's 45k so 17 plus 45 17 45 55 um 55 62 so this is gonna be this is gonna be 58 60 yeah it's gonna be 53 68 so that was enough and here's here is gonna be um presenting to our uh stand stand i keep saying stand peony musketeer players turn finally to rest i mean to cb1 and just filter the deck once again putting two heals back to the deck checking top five he's barely having his hand i mean his deck right now so he's gonna be calling out two units and possibly at this point everything is now triggers he has guaranteed triple drive plus um three triggers at this point and i don't know if uh, sir pg is gonna be able to survive this because he doesn't have that much hand cards at the moment he did check a heal and a crit so meaning there is no sentinels at this point so right here what will he do he's gonna be swinging now for a big no no it's not a big number but it will be a big number <laughs> so yeah let's see what happens here is he oh he still has one perfect guard left first check crit everything to heal and it'll be healing down third check crit everybody gets three crits i mean two crits at this point and 30k to the front row swinging for a massive how many crits does that unit have this is an 18 38 48 four crits <laughs> and this one has three crits so he will need to take this one i guess but yeah two heals incoming i guess i don't know but let's see he's gonna be counting down everything here i don't know if he can possibly get this first check nothing second check nothing ah oh, he's gonna be going to six that was actually one freaking good game that was so long and it just ended up looking at those last two checks those two heals and yeah that was the power of musketeers and the power of giraffe and yeah that was one good game.